Evening, Phil. Hi, my name is Raf. I'm a NOC team leader here at Custodian Data Centers, and you guys will be following me around for tonight's night shift because we don't stop, we go 24 7, that includes nights. Cool. And can you tell us a little bit about the NOC and, and what you guys monitor up here? Yeah. This is the NOC, it stands for Network, Network Operations Center. We do all kinds of monitoring and all the kind of office work happens here as well. Yeah, mostly computer work. Mm -hmm. The graphs, displays, all sorts of stuff from power to cooling to network activity. Mm. It's all that. No, okay, no. I'll fix it myself somehow. Thanks, Dennis. Can we go shift? Right? Or here, by right. So, the first thing I always do during the night. So I do the nightly checks, which is to walk around all the infrastructure bits. We're gonna see if everything's fine. Uh, if there's an issue, or I would have another port it or we're gonna fix it. Depends what it is. Usually there's none. Hopefully there'll be none. So yeah, as soon as I'll get this one parked, you can guys follow me and we'll see what's going on. Checking on the generators. So the MTU units, we've got three on this here in generator farms and two on the other farm. All of them all together are capable of running entire data center when there's a power cut. So the things I'm checking for is basically making sure they are correctly in the auto mode. If they are manual mode, I need to go and set them, start them up uh, manually. Obviously, if this auto, they detect the problem themselves, it starts running. So that's what I'm looking for, I need to make sure it's all gonna be good. Also look if there's a spillage, because they run on diesel. So there need to be at least one barrel full of spill kit, and there it is. Good. We've just looked at the generators. The next step to make sure all the power is good, we go to the UPS rooms. So we've got two over here and two more for the data for four. So we're gonna check them one by one. So there are UPSs in there and ATSs. I'll show you basically. Here's one of our many UPS rooms. Here we have two devices really. An ATS and an UPS. What we're checking for if everything's correct in there. So we're looking at all the three phases. All of the three phases needs to be on and showing the power. And we need to have a UPS output. And then obviously if there are generators running, there'll be output on the generator input. But since obviously generators are not running at the moment, there's no issues with power. All zeros across the board on the generators. So we're gonna go to the data flows now. Uh, we're going to have a look at customer racks. The first thing we're looking for is if there's a blank correctly installed. Blank is basically the material that fills the blank new spaces to make sure the airflow is correct. What data so floor is this? It's data flow 4. It's the new one. So what we're looking at right now is blanking. We need to make sure the blanking is correctly installed. It doesn't let any air through. We can 
isolate the hole inside the hole dial and the hole inside the hole dial. Yeah, we use a vibrative cooling system. It's a kind of a new one and it's not a standard one. It's not some all of the data centers are using. Floor two. Uh, it's, yeah, it's much more efficient, okay. but it's much more complicated. It's not just air from outside being pumped into the data center. We process this air, we make it more humid, we cool it, then we dry it, and then we pump it back to the base. Back to the data center. And this is why it's not happening. It's going to have to wear the hard parts now. We are done with all the checks. So right now I'm gonna go and sit by my desk. I'm gonna read all the emails. I've got some catching up to do. Uh, we'll monitor the stuff for at least a couple of hours and then we'll see if there's any support that needs to be done for our clients. Good evening, Castilian staff speaking. How can I help? Hi, Roger. What's going on? How can I help? Oh, I see. So, it's a E6 i server. So, what can I do for you? Can I open an SSH shell? Okay, yeah, no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now for you. I'll open the SSH shell and I'll let you know when it's done. Alright? Yeah, mm -hmm. cheers. Thank you. Bye. Uh, so we've just had a client asking for support, remote hands. Uh, we're going to be opening SSH shell in ESXi server. Should be quite straightforward and we can go ahead and do it right now. So what we've just done for the client, I've opened the SSH shell in ESXi, which he asked me to do. And now I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to send him an email saying that it's done. And we'll go from there. We'll see if he's going to be fixing his problem himself from here on out. Or are we going to help him more? Okay, so what are you going to be doing next? I'll be testing some fibers now, doing some TDR. And why do you guys need to do that? Because uh, with fibers it's not as easy as it is with copper cables. Because the fiber is just a glass tube. So there's light coming through it. And there's a chance that there's going to be some reflection. And if there's some reflection, the clients can have a receivers on their ends or something like that. So we need to make sure that the fiber run is perfect. Yeah, uh, essentially that's the laser that we've just turned on in a completely different room and that's the light we're seeing that's being emitted. 
So yeah, completely different room. The light travels the glass tube, so the fiber, and that's the fiber we're testing. There we go, fingers crossed. Okay, that's a pass. It's a pass on the 1300 nanometer spectrum. So there are two different wavelengths. This is multi-mode fiber, two different wavelengths. 1300 nanometers and 850 nanometers. This little machine, it tests both of the wavelengths for the fiber and we're searching for reflections. And there we go, we just finished both of them, both wavelengths, 1300 and 850 nanometers. And both are fast, that's really good. Alright, see you after have a good night, my friend. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Morning, Ref. You alright? Morning. I'm alright. Thank you very much. How's the shift? It's good. Yeah? Yeah, I've got the filming crew following me around. It's very nice. <laughs> you make you famous, innit? Yeah. You keep famous. Right. I'm done for tonight, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me tonight. I want to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me two comments, <laughs> and I'll see you around. Morning, guys. Morning, Dennis. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you.